What's going on good people? My name is Nerf Guy on the Bench. Today we're going to be doing a review, the first time in a long time, of the Adventure Force Thundershot. This is a svelte little blaster and I get to say so because this thing has the catch. This thing has the little catch piece. I'm, sure, I'm not sure if you can see it in there or not but this won't break because it actually has a catch. It's the version that Mongoose Jake said was cool and not the one the rest of us got. And I actually managed to get this in retail packaging. Anyway, huge muzzle up front, but it's massively wide, so I'm not too sure how it would uh, do with ranges. I'm certain that it's not doing jack shit. Moving back, we have this top rail heat sink type thing that really isn't, you know, a heat sink. Below it is the venerable eight shot cylinder that currently is halfway filled up with the darts it came with because I don't care much for these darts and I don't care that I lost half of them. Moving back, we have the giant hammer that I can just, just so barely prime one-handed. Um, below it is some matte plastic with a what, what, what feels like skin. I'm not going to lie to you, this feels like skin. And the trigger feels like a hammer shot trigger, though I haven't held a hammer shot in a good long while. But there's a little bit of play there before it actually engages the catch, so just be wary. And the grip, my god. I would rather have a Rebel for Victory than have this grip. It is god fucking awful. Anyway, let's get some firing in so we can get some ranges. This is the first time I've ever really range tested the blaster. Also, this might have some, uh, This might have some rotation issues because, uh, you know, it's Busby and sometimes they go hard. There's just all sorts of vehicles rolling around. So as flat as I can get it. And that's a respectable, like, 45 feet. That one whirly birded, so I'm not going to count that one too hard against it. It bounced, but that was about 40 feet. And one more for posterity. About 40, 45 feet. Now, let's get some elite darts in here. I am reaching into a box full of darts. So, thankfully, the dart shortage has ended. I have six elite darts. Four of them came with the Busby Adopt... Not Busby, but the Nerf uh, Adopt Me Bees Blaster. And the other two came with a commander I managed to get. And that's a Snapchat notification. My life is my own. You will not get my Snapchat. Another thing too, especially loading elite darts is kind of weird because the barrels are like staggered. It's hard to get them in the last half inch because they get a lot tighter. That's loaded that wasn't pointed directly at me my phone was shielding it so let's let's do this again okay forty feet whirly bird forty feet forty five Let's try that one again. All right, one more time for posterity. And that nearly whirly birded at 30 feet. So, I mean, go elite darts. 
I'm gonna load this back up with Adventure Force waffles and we'll come to a conclusion thereafter. Okay, now with darts that aren't terrible, Adventure Force waffles go. 35 feet. About the same. Wow, that was actually a 25 foot shot. Yeah, that German Shepherd has given me a scare, but no matter. One more for posterity, cause you know, and that was the longest distance Adventure Force waffle. So, what do I think of the Adventure Force Thunder Shot? Verified, of course, with the catch. It's a pretty, it's an okay blaster. I wouldn't run this in a war just because of how uncomfortable it is. But if I could, you know, if I could say splice on a Retaliator or Maverick grip on it, even though that would be hugely, hugely impossible with the trigger placement this thing has. Um, I would, really. But, anyway, it gets decent performance. It's not... It's not a performer by any means, but... You know, I like it. And this may be shooting a little bit softer than review units people got from from directly from Busby like people like I know he keeps saying his name but Mongoose Jake and Walcom S7 or not Walcom because he got one of the ones with the crap catch but but I know at, le at the very least Mongoose Jake got the one with the catch and that was that was pushing 80 FPS I'm not sure if those ranges signify 80 FPS anyway that's my review on the Adventure Force Thundershot. Thank you so very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you later.